This is Peter Charles. Welcome to my video on welding T-stuff to fly line. This here is T8, which I'll be welding to this blue line, which is an intermediate shooting head. What I'm doing today is welding 5 foot of T8 into the front of this intermediate to enable it to be pulled down just a little bit. So as a consequence, when it swings through the water, it'll be the tip end of it will be running a little lower, basically making a, a dual density intermediate, if you want to think of it that way. So what I've done already is I've got about uh, five inches or so of heat shrink. I've inserted my T8 and I've also inserted my floater, or I should say my intermediate fly line. And I've got uh, about an inch of heat shrink on either side to allow holding area. Now the first step is to do a snug down. It's very, very important to do that snug down first uh, to make, keep things from moving. I want the T8 to stay on top of the fly line all the way. So let's do that first. There we are, and we'll just snag that with our fingers. Now to, to welding this, T8 or T14, any of the team stuff materials have a problem that they go from being under welded to over welded in a heartbeat. So you can easily overcook a joint. And what we want to do here is when we heat this, we want to see the T8 start to flatten out a bit. Once it's flattened out, we move on to the next section. The worst thing we can do is overcook this stuff because uh, it will just start to curl on us and the core will be damaged and it'll end up being a mess. When we get to the end I have to make this tip flow into the uh, T8 to prevent this section from being leave, leave it apart later on while I'm fishing. So I'll heat this from the back side just to uh, give a little bit of extra heat to the um, floater and then I will um, roll this afterwards to smooth it out. Now you may have noticed this starts to curl a little bit. What I'll do is I'll just pull this straight while it's still warm, take the curl out of it. It's not a pretty joint. Don't expect pretty when you're doing this. It, you seldom get a really neat looking joint. What you want is a strong joint. And before I do anything else with it, I'll give that a full, a few pulls to make sure it's nice and strong. And that one appears to be good. So now I'll just wait for this to cool and I will uh, and then peel off the heat shrink and then I'll show you the final result. Okay, here's our finished overlap joint. As you can see the uh, T8 is welded itself to the top of the intermediate fly line. The uh, back end is nice and smooth. There's no bump to catch on the guides as we pull it through. And the front tip of the intermediate has been flowed into the T8 so it won't leave her apart while we cast. It's nice and strong. You'd be surprised how strong these overlap joints are. I have caught a lot of fish on tips made with overlap joints. They don't come apart. The only real danger I found, and you can just simply test this by pulling on it before you go fishing it, is if you overcook this section here as you try to flow these two components together, sometimes you'll get uh, the core will break down inside the uh, T material and then when you're pulling on it it'll just snap and you just cut it off and do it again. Um, I would suggest practice on some scrap first before you try and do this on a good fly line. It does take some trial and error and yeah I screw up a few times and have to cut it off and start over. It's quite common so don't worry about uh, demanding perfection from yourself right off the bat. 
you know, will get a few failures. Anyway, there you go. T8 joined to an intermediate shooting head, all ready to go.